Welcome to another episode of Geocaching with Komikino and No Kid. That's right, she's staying home, she's taking driver's ed, so stay off the roads. <laughs> Today is April 24th, and I'm out here at this beautiful park, as you can see here. I'm out here for a CETO event, a cash in, trash out event that's being held. Ah, it feels so good just to be out here to be able to finally intermingle with other geocachers in the area and to also do some cleaning up. So join me as I go out here and help clean up this park. Alright, look, it's a million and he's got a bag of stuff. What's in the, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Uh, underwear, cans, bottles, uh, candy wrappers. Hey, Daddy. So that you're supposed nice. to pick up trash, not bring your own trash. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Just trying to clean out my drawers. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Pun intended. Oh, don't lose the bottle. Alrighty. There you go. Good find. That's how you cash in the trash out right there, folks, picking up underwear. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here at Hill Park in Snohomish, Washington. This is funny because this is the park where I did my first sea tow like a year and a couple months now. It's cool coming back to this park and cleaning it up here again with some fellow cashers. As I said when I was out here a year and a half ago, <laughs> is that this park is pretty clean. People that visit here do a good job of cleaning up their junk, throwing trash away like they should. <sighs> but to get some of the real gritty trash, the nasty stuff, you gotta go off the beaten path to get this junk like this. Oh, and I got a big chunk of whatever that thing is right there. I have no idea, and it's scaring me. What is it? <laughs> it's nasty. There we go. We've got a small amount of trash that I managed to pick up here at the park. Again, it's pretty cool that this park has been kept clean by the regular patrons that visit it, and also the uh, geocachers that beat me out here for the Aceto uh, event. So, thanks everybody. It's time to put trash in its place. Well, that was a pretty fun event, getting a chance to get together with geocachers that I haven't met in the field since. A year and a couple months ago it was great being able to come on out and socialize and talk to fellow cashers ask them about their caches and have them talk about your caches I miss that socialization part of geocaching and I'm glad that things are starting to clear up a bit to where we can uh, start having these things and also a chance for people to come out here and get their first CETO as well my second CETO here yeah so it's a really good a great caching day, <laughs> even though it's spent cleaning and picking up trash at a park. But hey, but since I'm out here in the Snohomish area, might as well grab a couple more because there's always time for one or maybe two more. Let's go. Okay, at a location here where I hope this is going to be a quick cash find. And there it is. 
See it? It's so obvious. Thank goodness. That was kind of an interesting hide. It was like right there next to the community sign to this area that I'm in. And when I was ready to pull the cash out, the homeowner came out and I was like, hey, is this your cash? Congratulations, this is pretty cool. And they were like, there's a geocache here? <laughs> so I had to kind of explain to them that, hey, yeah, there's a cache here. And she's like, I never knew about that. And I'm, okay, well, heads up there's a cache right here so that was kind of interesting <laughs> so anyway thanks for watching this episode here of quick cash with Comakino. uh kids not here as i said she's at home with her driver's training so hopefully she'll be able to drive me out to some of these uh geocaches in the area gotta think of it like that so that kicks our finds up to 3290 with this cash here and the CETO event that i was at Thanks again for watching here, and hey, who knows where I'll be cashing next. Until then, cash on! <laughs> cash on. <laughs>